Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday. It is Monday. It's been... <laughs> it's been like 14 hours since I last uploaded, but that's okay. Because, uh, you know, this is this is pertaining to basically the same thing. Uh, you guys can see over on the screen there that uh, I, I very heavily glossed over this part. Whoops. I was just so ex I was so excited. I was just too excited about Hinoka and the armor piercing arrows that she possesses now. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> so you can see uh, we're actually we got we have Kaze and uh, and and Mail Kana, which is pretty hype. Uh, so Kaze is a, a shuriken or you know dagger unit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, male Kana is a blue dragonstone unit. I'm assuming not a flying, just an infantry, or you know, they're doing all kinds of crazy things with stuff lately. But uh, I can I can pretty confidently assume that you know he's also an infantry unit. He's just a blue. Um, yeah, how we feel about that? I completely miss that. And some of you guys in the comments were uh, were lighting up about it. So I thought I'd make a video. Uh, to kind of start a discussion about how do you think we're going to acquire uh, these things. <laughs> because uh, aside from a grand hero battle, there was nothing else put up on uh, the, the calendar that we have so far. Um, and that kind of leads me to believe that one of the units will be part of a grand hero battle. I can only assume that it's going to be Kana, the male Kana. Um... But, I mean, beyond that, I'm honestly not really sure. I mean, we can look We can look at the calendar again. I have it I have it on retainer, basically. The calendar's always there. Um, so, I mean, you can you can even see. The, the calendar more or less tells us uh, that we have a Legendary Summoning Hero event happening on the 1st. Uh, this new banner, which is the, uh, the Wings of Fate. That's what got released last night, the trailer for that. That's going to be going until the 9th. And then we have a new, new banner <laughs> on, uh, on the 10th through the 20th. So that's a, that's a quickie 10 day. Um, but we do have a Grand Hero battle that kind of edges up between those two. And so I, I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of scratching my head. We are going to have an illusory dungeon. That is something that we're going to be seeing. Uh, we let's see let's let, let's kind of, let's kind of pick this apart here so assuming of course assuming of course that we're going to be having the grand hero battle that being Kana male Kana uh, what about Kaze what about Kaze that's a great question um, let's let's kind of look at what we've had in the past right so we've had tap battle uh, which is illusory dungeon we just had grand conquest um, we're in the middle of a Tempest Trial right now. So, after that, I kind of feel like a voting gauntlet is due. And what's, what's surprising to me, uh, is that I don't think we'd have another Tempest Trials that quickly. Like, usually when units get introduced like this, right, we have a banner of three, uh, like, like literally, like we literally just did with Thracia, right? We had the banner of three. Three. And then we had uh, Sias, who was the grand hero battle that took place from the 17th to the 24th. And then we had the Tempest Trials, which is where we got Finn. So, uh, you know, we we had, who was it? Leaf, Nana, and... Uh, oh, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? The one I didn't get. The one I didn't get. Reinhardt and Olin. Like, those those guys were all part of that banner, right? We had the other two introduced through two other game modes. And while we have the Grand Hero Battle there, and that would line up perfectly with this Wings of Fate banner, I don't know that, <laughs> that we're going to have a, another Tempest Trials that quickly. Um, granted, they will likely come out with a new schedule within that end of the first week in may more than likely that's when we'll kind of start to see it because uh, you can see the last one just started kicking up around 
uh, the was that the 12th, the 10th, somewhere around there in April. So I mean, we're due for another event calendar. We are due for that. But I I don't see us getting a Tempest Trials. I feel like we're maybe going to get another voting gauntlet. And I think maybe we'll get a banner that includes the voting gauntlet for um, potentially potentially um, a Fate's Awakening type situation. Because if you if you look at this Wings of Fate banner, right? If you just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Right, just look at this banner. All right, so the thing that it reminded me of initially, and I think I may have even said this in the reaction video, uh, it it reminded me a lot of the Branded King, right? And that had the two Morgans and the the alternative Crom. And while it doesn't follow suit exactly, uh, I think it could make for maybe an interesting voting gauntlet in that sense. Uh, we are, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I don't see a Tempest Trials happening again that soon. And I feel like if they're going to introduce, you know, two new units into what was this banner, I feel like they would kind of follow suit, you know? I don't feel like they would take a, take a month break between them and then offer up another one. That just doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. Um, so I guess all ramblings aside, uh, my, my question is primarily to you guys. How do you think, uh, how do you think these are going to go down? So you can see right there. I mean, how do you, how do you think this is going to happen? Cause again, we, <laughs> we are literally in the middle of a Tempest Trials right now. And, uh, we have a week left. We have seven days. So technically like seven and a half days left at this point. Um, and this banner goes live like tonight slash tomorrow if you're east coast like me slash tomorrow it's on the 24th so i mean i i mean i guess maybe it could be a tempest but it would be so soon and i just i just don't know so i think i think primarily what we're going to be seeing uh is we're going to be seeing another fates banner and it's probably going to be intertwined in the one that happens on the 10th through the 20th um, it's not a lot of time, but I feel like it might kind of follow suit with some kind of potential, potential voting gauntlet. And I feel like Kaze might be an available hero in the new summoning banner for whatever reason. Like, I feel like it's gotta be a voting gauntlet. I feel like it has to be a voting gauntlet. I don't really want it to be a voting gauntlet. Uh, I would much rather it be a Tempest Trials because Tempest Trials is amazing and you get lots of orbs. And life is good when that happens, but I just, it's going to be so soon, man. And it, it's following this pattern of, um, you know, Illusory Dungeon, Tempest Trials, Voting Gauntlet. And now we've got the Grand Conquest kind of thrown in there, too. Of course, that doesn't really have anything to do with uh, units and, and available units and stuff like that, because that's still kind of in, like, beta and stuff. So uh, they're, they're still working the kinks out on that. Um, but I guess my question for you guys, uh, in the comments is how, how do you think this is going to work out? I'm pretty confident that we're going to see male Kana as the, uh, the grand hero battle unit. Definitely wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Um, but I, what's the deal with Kaze, man, <laughs> man, what's the deal with Kaze? Like I'm, I'm kind of excited about Kaze. Like he's cool. He was husbando numero uno. Uh, during, during my Fates LP, man, <laughs> he was strong. I liked him. Um, but I don't know how we're going to get him. <laughs> so I'm confused. I'm generally confused. He might pop up in the banner like months later. Like, I don't know, but I, it, it feels like there'd be a really weird disconnect if that happened. And I'm not, I'm not really pleased. Of course, uh, you know, we did have, uh, during, I think it was the New Year's banner, we had the, the New Year's banner released, uh, units released, and, uh, we saw, we saw Corrin, <laughs> we saw male Archer Corrin in that, in that video, in that, uh, trailer, and, like, we were not getting any <laughs> information on it <laughs> up until, like, a couple days before, I think, they launched the, uh, the Tempest Trials, so... 
I don't know. Like maybe maybe it's a thing where they went with Tempest Trials Plus, which are shorter, so they can do more of them. Maybe that's a thing. I genuinely don't know. Um, fingers crossed that that's actually the case, because then we'd have a bunch more orbs uh, to go around more plentifully. And there are a lot of banners coming up, and that makes me very, very sad. Uh, particularly because... <laughs> That summoning uh, with uh, countering weapon skills is right between three banners. And that hurts my heart a little bit. So, <laughs> great. I'll work for orbs. Have I put that out there before? I'm putting it out there now. I will work for orbs. Um, but anyway, I may, maybe we will have more. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing that we'll be doing. Uh, maybe they'll keep us in the dark. Maybe Kaze is just never going to be a thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm sure we'll have more information when the data mine comes down. Of course, uh, I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm assuming probably like later today or like late, late, late tonight. Uh, either way, tomorrow, more than likely, I will have a video out for you guys covering what's going on with the data mine and uh, the, the, the base stats on the units and all that good stuff. Uh, or I guess the, the neutral stats at level 40, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I will, uh, I'll do my best to have that video out to you guys tomorrow or as soon as the information becomes available, pending it's not at like 2 a.m. my time when I am asleep and helpless to actually do anything about it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about, uh, Mail Kana and, uh, and Kaze. And thank you guys for pointing that out in the comments of the reaction video, uh, because I completely missed it. <laughs> I've been gone all morning, which is why this is going up late. Uh, I went on the worst, probably one of the worst, not, well, maybe not the worst, one of the, one of the more strange job interviews that I've been on in a while, uh, and it, it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it at that, um, but thank you guys so much for watching, uh, if you want more Nintendo content, I know I primarily stick to Fire Emblem Heroes over here, uh, but we're gonna be expanding in a lot of different aspects, uh, the, ch the, the channel name might even change relatively soon, so be on the lookout for that. But if you want more content, primarily Heroes focused with some other Nintendo good stuff that I love, uh, you can hit that subscribe button and help us get one step closer to YouTube partnership uh, because we are very, very close to that, and that is super exciting. Um, but hey, totally up to you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Blue, and I will catch you next time.